What's going on people and welcome to my match preview and my starting eleven for tomorrow's game, Barcelona versus Manchester United in the Europa League. Kind of a qualifying stage at the moment for the next bit. Massive game obviously for both teams. Barcelona doing fantastically in the Liga, running away with it at the moment. They don't concede a lot of goals and they got Lewandowski up front. I'm hearing Busquets is going to be out. I think it might have been Dembele that's missing. As for us, we got pretty much a full squad. Martial wasn't available. Um, Casemiro is though, which is a, a huge bonus. Obviously Eriksen is going to still be out, but most of the rest of them are, are going to be here for us and be there for us. So yeah, I'm excited for it, but I'm not full of confidence for it because I do think at the new camp, they'll probably beat us. And I think at ours, we could get something from the game, but it's going to be tough. I do think they're not miles better than us, but I do think that they've got a bit more depth and slightly better than us prediction wise for tomorrow so it's a 5 45 kickoff by the way if you didn't know in case you wanted to watch it go 2-1 to barcelona i think that we can grab especially on the counter if with the likes of someone like rashford or sancho with a pace i know um sancho is not blessed with pace but he can definitely cause problems and rashford we, we know what he can do um i think rashford probably will get the goal for us but i think barcelona will have enough in that first leg tomorrow to get through. I think at our ground, I'll do a preview for that nearer the time, but I think we could scrape a win in that or, or get a draw at least. But I think on over two legs on aggregate, I think that they'll have too much firepower, especially, especially with Lewandowski. I wouldn't be hugely surprised if we can beat them and go through, but it's not going to be easy. And I think there's not a lot in it between the two teams, but I do edge it to, towards Barcelona. So I kind of got to go there with a, a nothing to lose attitude in terms of just seeing what we can do, because I think that they will be favourites over both legs as well. So I think more pressure is on them in a sense. So I feel like we need to go in and approach the game that way. Hopefully we can get a draw at least tomorrow. But as I said, I'm going to go a 2-1 home into Barcelona. Still leave us in the tie for the second leg at Old Trafford. And I think we could turn it around, but... It's going to be tough, so I think all like we need to get at least a draw tomorrow, going back into that Old Trafford game for the second leg to have a chance. I think if they beat us, we still have a chance, but only if it's by one goal difference. Because I think if it's like a 3-1 or a 2-0, I think it's going to be hard to peg them back, even at Old Trafford. So I'm going to go with a 2-1. Um, as for my lineup, I would go with David De Gea. I'd go Delo, Varane, Martinez and Luke Shaw. And then I'd go to two holding midfielders because we've been playing a three in midfield recently. But I'd go with Fred and Casemiro in the two holding roles. Have Fred probably a little bit more going forward and Casemiro sits more. Um, Sancho on the right for me, I think he's looked good since he's come back. Bruno at 10, Rashford on the left and Veghorst up top. As I said, I'm excited for it tomorrow, but I'm not super confident. Um, so if we grab a draw, I'd be delighted. And if we get a win... It'd just be icing on the cake because I don't expect us to win tomorrow. So I know a lot of people want us to win tomorrow. It's at the new Camp, 99, all that. But we're not the team we once were. We're definitely getting back to closer to what we were, but we're nowhere near what we were. And I think people need to put that into perspective going into this game instead of living in 1999. We've moved on. That was a, that was time, time ago. So I think we need a bit of perspective and we need to not be, like, we got to go into it with confidence and want to win. But at the same time, I don't think we're, like, we shouldn't be favourites for this, I don't think. So if we can get a draw, I think that's a fantastic result. And if we lose by one goal, I think we're still in the tie. So, and if we win, it's just, it's a bonus. So that's my thoughts on it, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. And if you don't know, yesterday I dropped a new player versus player video. Reese James against Trent Alexander-Arnold. Go over to the channel and watch that if you haven't already. And go over to the community tab after and vote on the next player versus player. So you'll say on which one you get to see next. Make sure you give a thumbs up on the video, guys. It helps the channel grow. Appreciate everyone that's supporting. And I'll catch you guys soon.